welcome back. So, in your baggies this week that you picked up from the library, you received a kit that looks like this. Today we're going to be working on a silly way to design our characters. So if you have no ideas on what to do for your character, which is totally understandable, and we kind of brainstormed a little bit last week, um, today we're going to do a silly activity followed by an extra assignment that you can do at home. So you're going to separate your little baggie from your paper, lay your paper out in front of you, and get your pencil ready. If you want to use a pen or a marker or whatever, that's totally fine. So today we're going to do a silly drawing activity. So I want you to think of what kind of character you would like to have in your book, whether it's a unicorn or a cat or a dump truck, whatever. And I want you to put on some silly music and I want you to close your eyes and draw your character with your eyes closed. So it's going to come out looking a little silly and that's totally fine. So let's go. My character is going to be my cats, just so that you, you know what you're looking at while I'm drawing it. It's not the best cats that I've ever drawn. I think when you're brainstorming uh, to like create your own book, it's important to not take yourselves too seriously. I think when we draw, um, we kind of isolate ourselves and we decide very early on if we're a good artist or not good artist. So I'm sure that you identify yourself in one of those categories. You're either like, oh, I'm a really good artist. I go to art class. I get really good grades in art at school and then there's other people that are like mm, I'm not very good at art but you know what's crazy is that everyone can be good at art so this activity kind of gives you a chance to not take yourself so seriously so you end up with a little bit of a goofy type of drawing hopefully you didn't cheat and keep your eyes open um, I like to color in this project after I'm done um, and kind of then take it and think about it a little bit. So I drew my three cats. What do I like about my drawing? So you're going to, if you want to, you can color yours in. And then you can think about what you like about what happened when your eyes were closed. Not what you don't like, what you like. So in my art, I like the way that this cat is kind of looking lovingly up at this cat even though I didn't do that on purpose. I think it came out really cute. Um, I kind of like that this one's got like a, a little horn sticking out, but and so does this one actually. Maybe like it's like a top view kind of of their tails, so that's kind of cute. Um, and I just kind of like how happy they look, even though I didn't really know what I was drawing 100%. So from here, after you've drawn your goofy picture, and sometimes I like to hang my pictures on my refrigerator so that I can be reminded of what a good artist I am, but also not to take my art too seriously. I then am going to start um, designing a little paragraph about my, my animals. In your case, it could be anything. So you're looking at this as your template but you're gonna start getting out all of your silly ideas on paper of what you want your character to be like in your story. So if you already have a storyline, like so I decided last week that mine was gonna be about my cats going into space on a quest for the perfect ice cream. 
space ice cream. So once you've written down what the idea or the premise of your story is going to be, then you need to decide how your characters will fit into that story. So how can I design specific cats that are going to fit into my storyline? Because you can't have cats, like maybe you have a really shy cat at home that like runs from everything. That kind of cat probably wouldn't fit into my storyline because they're scared so they probably wouldn't even make it on the spaceship. But then again, I could use that type of cat, but I would have to, you know, finagle my storyline a little bit. So, I have my three cats. Talia, Mochi, and Cece. And then I think about their personality traits and what I want them to be like. So, Talia is like the leader. Mochi is kind of the muscles of the situation. Like he's the, the kind of character that would come in and like, you know, um, take care of business um, if something needed to happen, uh, really stand up for, for what he believes is right. And Cece is kind of dramatic. She's the kind of character that would be like, oh no, everything's going wrong. And it would, be a situation like they put strawberry jelly on your peanut butter sandwich when you wanted grape. Like very over the top. So you need to start designing that and then look at your picture if you have more than one character and decide who would be which one. Even though these might not be the finalized copies of what you want, looking at them you'll be able to um, kind of get a better visual of what you want your characters to be like. So, for your assignment, just to review for this week, so that we can keep on track for our great children's books, is to do your silly drawing. You can do this as many times as you want. You can do it with a sibling. You can practice drawing your family with your eyes closed. I've done that. It's hilarious. Maybe as an after-dinner activity where everybody sits down and you all pick a name out of a hat and decide which person you want to draw with your eyes closed. It's really fun. Um, then you want to write down what your um, premise of your story is, so the focus of your story. Write down all of your characters and how they would fit into the story. Okay? And I can't wait to see you guys next week where we focus on setting and plot. Okay? Bye!